for Americans out of work or trying to battle the virus. New York's governor warning not to ease up on social distancing measures that appear to be offering hope of better days ahead. This virus has been ahead of us from day one. We've underestimated the enemy, and that is always dangerous, my friends. And we should not do that again. A motto often cited by the White House suggests coronavirus-related deaths will be lower than initially projected thanks to social distancing. We know that this is something that is a strain on the American public, but it's just something that we have, not only the only tool, it's the best tool. President Trump is reportedly setting up a second coronavirus task force specifically aimed at trying to restart the nation's economy in May. The group would include government and business leaders. The president is seeking advice from everybody inside and uh, outside the government. But officials like California's Governor Gavin Newsom say it's too soon to lift safety guidelines. While the curve is bent in bending in the state of California, it's also stretching. And at any moment, if we pull back, you can see that curve go back up. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio offering a carrot and stick approach Thursday. If people keep up social distancing, cases decrease and testing becomes more widely available, restrictions could be lifted in late May or early June. We all keep doing what we're doing. We actually can work our way to that next phase where things get better and our lives take a step towards normalcy. But for now, the numbers aren't great. U.S. deaths have now topped 16,000. And modeling from the University of Washington suggests that the, the peak of the U.S. daily death toll is going to come this Sunday. Live in the news from Dan Howes, <laughs> 7 News. Boston Mayor Marty Walsh giving it up. The peak will come on Easter. <laughs> Resurrection, baby. <laughs> you can't help it. <laughs> Today on the outbreak's impact here in the city, he says there are more than 300 new coronavirus cases in the city alone, and that is the highest one-day increase in Boston. With cases on the rise, the mayor says it's critical that everyone keep up with the social distancing guidelines. What we do during these next few weeks is critical to flattening the curve and saving our lives. None of us want to look back two or three weeks from now and think we could have or should have done more. Now is the time. The city needs you. And Mayor Walsh made it very clear that there should be no large gatherings with Easter coming up. He urged Bostonians not to travel this Sunday, not even for a family dinner. Fuck him. New help from the Massachusetts National Guard as they assist medical workers who are running coronavirus testing at a West Roxbury nursing home. The National Guard on hand this afternoon at West Roxbury Manor on Washington Street. The unit leader says he and his team are doing whatever they can to help out. We're doing everything we can to support the Commonwealth, support the Mass, uh, state of Massachusetts, the governor, and uh, the Joint Force Headquarters. He, he, he throws it on the fucking ground while it's pouring out. I loved it, right? <laughs> the, the, the protective gear. And uh, we're, we're enjoying every minute of it, helping out our, our fellow communities. Wow, what an attitude. That's awesome. The service members are not medical professionals, but they are able to help with the testing of patients. Attorney General Maura Healy with a warning for smokers during this pandemic. She says those who vape or smoke are at higher risk for getting the coronavirus. And because of hand-to-mouth contact, smoking or vaping can increase the spread of COVID-19. Healy is urging smokers to try to quit right away or to find alternatives. New ballot. I'm smoking a big fat joint right now. Yes, I am. Fucking bastards. I'm also within our 7 News app. We are following some breaking news. A shooting investigation underway in Seekonk. State police say a man shot himself after a chase that ended on Fall River Avenue. State police say the person refused to stop when a trooper tried to pull him over. He was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. We are following... No police, no district attorney, nobody there to verify that story except some reporter just reading a script. Give me a break. News today, a multifamily home in Andover going up in flames. You can see heavy smoke coming out of the home while firefighters worked to knock down the flames. 
The Red Cross working to help two families displaced by the fire. The cause is still being investigated. There's a person under arrest this evening after a manhunt in Melrose today started on Forest Street. And police say this person ran away after breaking into a building. But they eventually caught up with that person, took them into custody. No one was hurt. And the investigation continues. Third story. No official speaks. Just a reporter from the script. Right? Is that crazy? Details in the college admissions scandal. Jesus. Federal prosecutors in the case are rejecting the claim that the case is tainted and should be thrown out. Prosecutors are denying allegations that investigators deliberately fabricated evidence so they could charge actress Lori Lachlan and other parents. Prosecutors call the accusations baseless. Coming up, we have a check of the forecast. And Jeremy, the wind is now the concern, is it? It is, yeah. We'll have that wind wind advisory until 9 p.m. and a blustery, cool day tomorrow. We can forecast in a few minutes. And then a group of people getting creative in New Hampshire, putting together those much-needed masks with whatever they can find. In these uncertain times, people in Massachusetts are struggling, but you can help. First Lady Lauren Baker has launched the Massachusetts COVID-19 Relief Fund to help residents in need. We need to connect those most impacted by COVID-19 with the resources and services they need to stay safe and healthy. No donation is too small. Please visit macovid19relieffund.org for more information because we are all stronger together. No, that is one. What a scam, really. Hey, first responders. Hey, all the people who are working full-time and overtime with giant benefits, doctors, nurses, police, fire, right? Hey, donate. Let's give them more money. Hey, fuck the person who needs any money. Yeah, yeah, fuck them. Fucking yeah, because they better keep these people who are running this fucking scam fucking happy. Unbelievable, man. You can't make this fucking shit up. It pisses me off. Honest to God. Bunch of fucking shit.